how to know if you should shave your head. If you are balding, you may be asking yourself this question and I'm gonna answer it for you in this video. The answer is actually very simple. It does not depend on how thin your hair is. It actually depends on one thing and that is how do you feel about it? Is it controlling your life? Is it influencing your life in a negative way? If the answer is yes, then it's time to do something about it. And we are talking here about shaving your head as a solution to that problem. As I said, it's not important how thin your hair is. If your hair at the top, for example, is completely gone, but you feel good about it, it's not stopping you from doing things that you want to do, it's not stopping you from living your life to the fullest, you don't have to shave it off. It's your choice because you don't actually have a problem. And on the other hand, if it's only starting to be noticeable, but people ha can hardly notice it, you have like a small bald patch that no one can see, but you're self-conscious about it. You feel restricted by it, you don't live your life to the fullest because of it. Then it's time to shave it off. Yeah, that's the point of doing it. If there is a problem, the solution to that problem can be shaving it off and no matter how bad it is, as I said, or how good it is. The point is that it's not the degree of balding that it should be a deciding factor of should you shave your head or not. It should be how you feel about it and is it controlling your life. Are you letting it to control your life and to impact it in any negative way? Many people think, oh, my hairline started going back a little bit, started receding a little bit, or my hair at the top is a little thin, so I should shave it off now. Well, yeah, maybe it's actually the moment to shave it off, but not because of your bowling situation, but because it's making you feel bad. You're not living your life as you want and that's the point of shaving it off it's shaving off those worries together with your hair that are stand standing in your way of living your best life for example if you've noticed that your hair is a little thin on the top but it's nothing serious nobody said anything to you you can hide it and that's the problem if you are trying to hide it then it's already taking control of your life instead of you taking control of it. So if you have to style it a certain way to hide it and you're investing your mental energy into that, then that's slowly starting to become a problem. And that's the moment when you should think about shaving it off. Even if you like how it looks when it's perfectly styled and everything and you position your hairs perfectly and everything looks good when you do that the problem with that is that not it's not possible to keep that look at all times if you want to live life to the fullest of course i know that there are many guys who for example because of their thin hair don't go swimming or running or going out and having fun with friends because they are scared of being exposed. They are scared of their hair situation being exposed by certain things like, for example, they are scared to go swimming because if their hair gets wet, then it's gonna show that they are balding. And you don't want to be in this situation. The goal is to not let something take control of your life, but to actually focus on things that you can actually control. And one of those things is shaving your head, because you can't control your balding, but you can control how you react to it. I look at the act of shaving your head as a tool to help you mentally before anything else because as i said it's the constant 
worrying it's the anxiety it's the fear of being exposed and all of that stuff that's actually the problem and something to be solved of course the ideal place to be mentally would be to not care at all how you look and no matter if you're rocking that perfectly shaved head or if you're rocking some kind of receding hairline or thinning hair your confidence doesn't take a hit but i know that it's hard to achieve that and i look at the act of shaving your head as one of the tools to help you to get closer to that ideal so the fact that you're actually doing it and shaving away those negative things that it's been bringing to your life is a huge step forward that can help you to improve yourself and to improve your, your confidence even further if you are willing to rock it as it is and not to worry about it and to live your life normally then there is no need to shave it off of course if you want you can do it but it should not depend on the degree of your balding or what your friend said to you that's all that i wanted to say in this video and the point that i'm trying to make is don't let others decide what you should do listen to yourself and the most important thing is how you see yourself base your decisions on that and you'll be fine if anything that i've said in this video makes sense to you feel free to leave a like and thank you for watching